Three things you can do to feel your best. Being your best can mean many things to many people. The three things I'll share with you today are accessible to anyone who would like to be the better version of themselves. Here are the three things you can do now. Express gratitude. Gratitude is the number one way you can feel great about yourself and your life. When you can recognize the good about yourself, you place all your energy toward what you have as opposed to your gaps. This behavior can change a lot in your life. Start by writing down what you are grateful for about yourself. For example, you could say, I'm thankful for my smile. I'm grateful for my determination. I'm grateful for my ability to find work, etc. Every day, wake up in the morning and as soon as you open your eyes, say one thing you are grateful for about yourself and one thing you are grateful for toward your life. This simple act will help you start your day feeling your best. Practice positive self-talk. The way that you talk to yourself will impact the way you feel about yourself. If you are continually doing negative self-talk, it is practically impossible for you to feel your best. Just imagine that you talk negatively to a friend all the time. Criticizing or judging that person will only make that person feel horrible about themselves. The same will apply to you. Start by being aware of your self-talk. Catch yourself when you are hard on yourself and rephrase your self-talk to be more positive. For example, if you are criticizing your hips for how they look in a pair of jeans, reframe your thoughts to recognize something you love about yourself. No one is perfect, and there's no reason for you to expect anything different for yourself. Learn to embrace your flaws and recognize the good in you. Once you can positively talk to yourself, you will feel more better about yourself. Have the goal of being your biggest fan, and you won't be disappointed with whatever outcome you get. Be honest with yourself. One of our most significant barriers to reaching our best self is the constant lies we convince ourselves to believe. One of those lies is the idea that we have to please others to be loved. When you try to please others, you are entirely detaching yourself from what you want and who you are. You're trying to be someone you aren't just to make sure you are liked by others. That is one of the biggest lies we live, the one where we think that no one will like us for who we truly are. Start right now by saying no to that limiting belief. Stop lying to yourself because the truth is, once you accept who you are, others will too. Remove that mask that you've been wearing your whole life and finally face the truth. Your true and authentic self is good enough. You are good enough. And you can be loved for who you indeed are. This change won't be easy, and it won't change overnight. It probably took years for you to build that mask, so it could take a long time to find your true self. The most important part is to start connecting with yourself and start asking yourself if you are doing something to please others or if you are doing it for yourself. When you can discern the difference, you will be able to slowly move back into a place where you are in integrity with your authentic self and no longer living a lie. Ask yourself this. What are the things that I do today to please others? What aspect of myself am I not being honest with? Feeling your best can take time, depending on how long you've been disconnected from your authentic self. Rest assured, that with hard work and dedication, anyone can be the best version of themselves. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.